Hello all, looks like we're back with a Saturday evening live. I want to introduce some beautiful essential oils for you to try and identify. And then I'm going to ask you a question about each oil, just so we can understand a little bit more about the current composition and where we can improve things. So the first one I'm going to find is this little bottle here. I'm going to give it a good shake. The scent shall remain a secret you've smelt it and you can keep your eyes open are you ready breathe in through the nostrils allow that guys I can actually see the comments tonight not sure how discerning your sense of smell is when it comes to essential oils what do you think there? Jake, how the hell did you get that? We have bergamot there. Jake, you are a genius. You obviously have a smell of vision. Okay, thinking about that bergamot scent. Out of five, please give it a potency score. How potent was the bergamot? Any other thoughts or opinions? Did you like that one? for the 5 out of 5 stream. Make sure Jack isn't looking at these. Hope you're not cheating Jack. Are you ready? Hello Simona V. What do you think about this Simona? Somebody say mint, jazzy. What is going on tonight? This is peppermint. Do you guys actually have smell of vision? Right, thinking about the peppermint. Out of five, what would you score the fierceness of this scent? How fierce? And anything else you'd like to add? What could be improved? Third. You're thinking lemongrass, you haven't even smelt it yet. Are you ready? Two minty, I'll nod that down, Charlie. What do you think, guys? Any ideas? That is, not sure if you can see it, that is rose. Rouse there. So Alison, you were fairly close. The strawberry is red. And some rouses are red. So, about that scent. 
please give it a potency score again and a freshness score out of five. Any further opinions? Okay, fourth sample incoming. This is a tricky one. And the V2. Okay, here's the next one. No, it is not Jack Daniels. That is not a essential oil. Try again. Jack has gone for sandalwood. This is in fact a unique one. Clary Sage. Clary Sage there. Now about that one, please give it a sharpness score. Very mild. Anything else you'd like to add? Delicate, light, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Charlie. Okay, I'm ready for the next one. Here we go. Just through the nose. This is the fifth essential oil. It's not chocolate, but it has got a little relationship outside to chocolate. You're welcome. It is not coffee. It is not chocolate. It is frankincense. Frankincense. Okay, please give the frankincense, frankincense an earthiness score. And a depth of flavour score. Is there anything you'd alter about the frankincense oil? Five out of five, that's a nice score. Six two five out of five. You are very specific. This one, you are correct. Is not lavender jack. It is sweet orange. Hospital corridor. No. Sweet orange. I would like to know what you are scoring the power of that scent. Powerfulness and a zestiness score. So you wouldn't turn down the zestiness, understood. A 
for number seven here. And this one I would assume is going to get some low scores. I'll give you a clue. It is also used as an insect repellent in candles, this scent. Can anybody get this one? Ashley, you are correct. It's not mayonnaise. <laughs> this is in fact citronella. Citronella. No, it's not Jack Daniels again. But we might have some Jim Beam later. Okay, for the citronella, please score the depth of scent out of five. Five being very intense. Is that an essential oil that you'd burn in the house? I didn't think so. a good mix. There we go. What are your thoughts there? It's quite a popular one. This is Ylang-Ylang. Ylang-Ylang. So for that one, please give me a Vigor score and a Fruitness score out of five. Okay, number nine. This one is often found in the kitchen in herb form. It is not Bob Marley, before you say. Oregano, oregano, no it is not. I read it. One of my favourite herbs to go with chicken. Not time. Well done, Andy. I'll guess correctly. With rosemary. I have rosemary there. Please give that one a tanginess score. And would you use that scent in the hole? Here is your next one. There we go. It's quite a zingy one. You're very close with lemon. It is in fact lemongrass, lemongrass there. Give me a sensualness score for that one. Zinginess score. And a 
freshness rating, please. Five out of five, excellent. I believe we are halfway through. Twenty oils. People like lemongrass. My favourite ice cream flavour. There we go. What are the comments saying? Butterscotch now, mint now. Correct, TBC3 girl. We actually have. Vanilla. Oh, vanilla there. I like my vanilla ice cream with the little pods. Please give that one a sensuality score. Anything you change about the vanilla there? my friend for the donation. It is not necessary, but thank you nonetheless. Your views are enough. Next scent, number 12. Bit of a tricky one this. Often used in herbal tea before bedtime. What are you thinking there? Not chamomile, chamomile. There you go. There's your chamomile. Very nice with a teaspoon of honey, chamomile tea. I would like you to score the earthiness of chamomile out of five. And the delicateness of the chamomile. I do agree with you on that one. Right. This is a funny one. I'm not quite sure where this would be found. But maybe you can tell me. Have a little smell. I'm not really familiar with this one. You're welcome, sir. Did you get patchouli? Did you get patchouli there? Anyone could shed some light on patchouli. Okay, for that one, please rate the lustiness out of five. And the earthiness. reuse this one. I thought it was a repeat, but it's not. Now these flowers or plants have a beautiful scent and purpleness in the summer months. The bees love it. 
You are correct. Bloodshard. This is indeed Lavender. You have correctly identified Lavender there. Are you ready for this one? Give it a voluptuous score, please. And a floralness score. And what are your thoughts on lavender? Three quarters of the way here with this one. This is very gentle and light, although it does smell like air freshener in a bottle. Are you ready? What do you think of this one? Any thoughts? Not rose, not citrus, not lemon, not Jack Daniels. We have a correct answer, and use talks. We have Jasmine there. We have Jasmine. As you were smelling that, did you pick up any relationship to vanilla? And to what degree? Was that a conduit there? A mere percentage? 20%. Floralness of jasmine, please. Score out of five there. Did it remind you of cheap air freshener in a bottle? Partly. Percentage? 60%. Okay. So what would you improve about the jasmine? Please be as detailed and as expansive as possible. Right. 16. 16. Okay. Hello there, menopausal Barbie. Thank you for always watching. Sorry, this one isn't making any liquid sounds and so the full or empty looks to be full okay some people like this sprinkled on their pancakes comes in sticks as well are you ready Breathe in through the nose Thesis Rex, correct. We have cinnamon. There's cinnamon there. Quite like cinnamon, although I don't eat a lot of it. But I'll sprinkle it on your coffee. Please give me an intensity score for the cinnamon. That's all I need from that one. Oh yes. I assume this will be a popular one. Cinnamon and porridge, yes. Good combo. This is often found in candle form. I might even get your juices flowing. Apparently so. Here we go. 
How old am I? Thirties. Jake, you have nailed it again. We have some sandalwood there. Sandalwood. Please give me a zeal skull. Sandalwood. Earthiness. Sensuality. Would you burn that in your bedroom at night? Three more to go, and then I'll let you escape. Often found in face washes. This may come from Australia. I'm not sure. I'm just relying on distant memories and knowledge. Here we go. Hello, Ian. No, not Old Spice. THB3C, was it? You are correct again. You're very good at this. This is tea tree. Tea tree. Used to use that in face wash as a child, as a teen. Please give me a seriousness score there. Penultimate one here. I shall go first. Not the best, in my opinion, but we are all different. Have a little smell of this one. And tell me, what do you think this essential oil is? I believe this may be some kind of plant, flower. Geranium, of course, it is a flower, geranium. Please give me a warmth score. How warm would you say that scent was? Zinginess. Okay. Well done if you're still here. You have made it. You don't have a headache. Final essential oil. Can you think of one that we haven't covered yet? We have done bergamot, peppermint, rose, clary sage, frankincense, sweet orange, citronella, langilang, rosemary, lemongrass, vanilla, chamomile, patchouli, lavender, jasmine, cinnamon, sandalwood, tea tree, and geranium. What haven't we covered yet? No, not chocolate, verbena, no. It's not Jack Daniels, no. Anise, no. Pine, no. Not rosemary. Justine, you have nailed it, Justine. I have a very good nose. There we had eucalyptus, eucalyptus. And that is it. Final questions for eucalyptus. 
And then I'm going to have my dinner. I'm having Italian tonight. Please give the uh, eucalyptus, was it eucalyptus, a sincerity score. How sincere? You'll find out. Floralness. And out of all the essential oils, if you can recall, which one was your favourite scent? And your least favourite. Excuse me. My tummy's rumbling. Your least favourite. I am hungry. Right, guys. I very much liked your scores and responses. After dinner, late tonight, I may release a live on the gaming channel. The gaming channel is growing well. If you're looking for some ASMR gaming, it is SRP game over. Right? That's it for now. I will see you tomorrow for a release on this channel. Please have your um, thinking cap on and I may be offering you a cash offer. If it'll work.